Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is new intelligence forms. You heard about the, the term um, IQ, right? Um, it's simply your traditional form of intelligence and very often that's how you measure people's intelligence. It is by their ability to remember facts or to navigate problems and equations and stuff like that. But this is just a very small and limited perception of what it means to be a smart human being. You know, sometimes you can measure your intelligence by your ability to survive in the world, for instance, which would involve much more emotional skills and survival skills, or your ability to connect with the invisible and be there in a state of unity with the world, with the planet and humankind, you know, connecting in this mystical space. This is mystical intelligence or spiritual intelligence, as SQ. And then you have, for instance, what we could call heart intelligence you know how intelligent is your heart how good are you at navigating the fields of love and expressing that love in different ways in the world you know why not why is it that we have to measure somebody's smartness intelligence by their ability to remember history facts or solve mathematical problems it's a pure nonsense what about you know sexual intelligence your ability to dive and use your sexual fire and energy and activate somebody else's sexual fire here is another one you know why not why is it that we have to limit our understanding of what it means to be smart to something which is just a small fraction of what it means to be a human being Imagine again your ability to function really well on this planet and, and to thrive has nothing to do with <laughs> being able to remember history facts or reading 20 books in a day or speed learning. You know, it's something else there. I mean, those things are important as well, of course, but there are these these survival skills you know imagine that you take a kid you know a, a, a young kid like 10 years old and you teach that boy or that girl how to generate an income how to create a business and you consistently teach them that you know they become they become massively powerful business people by the time they are 20 able to generate to create and to transmit to the world to create products to to you know this is important what about life skills, your ability to navigate emotions, you know, not get stuck, in trapped, in victimization, in depression. You know, imagine that you have the skills to actually navigate all that and raise to happiness. You know, your ability to be happy, emotional intelligence, EQ, you know, those ones are are things that we are still trapped in oh iq here is how you measure somebody's smartness <laughs> how smart you are you know muscle power i mean there are so many things that we don't consider to be intelligent when when they are they are they are really important it has nothing to do with brain power it has to do with intuitive guidance ability to navigate and to fight and play you know, with life, with the energies of life. So those intelligences, those forms, or these new ways of looking at what it means to be intelligent, this is what we should transmit kids. This is how we should educate them. It is your ability to survive, your ability to, to feed yourself, to take care of your body, you know, body intelligence, sexual intelligence. Emotional intelligence, we have to start uh, reframing the way we think about it, what it means to be intelligent and what it means to be smart. And uh, in my, my belief is that, um, you know, right now we don't, have, we don't have those scales, you know, IQ, you measure it, you do a test, you sit somebody on a chair and give them this, this shit and then they can measure intelligence. But that's not, that's not what is going to give you the skills to have a great life. It's going, going to be only a little fraction. Yeah, brain gasms, you can access those ones, maybe, but it's only a small fraction of what it means to be intelligent. So don't get sidetracked. If you are a parent, I don't have kids, you know, but I mean, I, I teach lots of people and I feel responsible for every kid on this planet, right? It's a little bit the way I look at it. Every child is humankind's child. But if you are a parent, here are th some things that I would like you to consider. It's like imagine educating your child from a perspective, from a place where you want them to, to, to receive 
the tools that they need in life to be happy. Not just brain power, it's much more. Success in life depends on a whole variety of things. Your ability to stay long term in a successful, happy marriage depends a lot on how you respond to emotional situations in life. So don't get misled, okay? This, this is what it means. This is what it means to be happy. Your ability to navigate life has to do a lot with emotional intelligence, not with your ability to remember facts, okay? And when it comes to uh, having a beautiful relationship and a great sex life, again, sexual intelligence, spiritual intelligence, spiritual intelligence, mystical, mystical intelligence is your ability to be in that space where you you feel, you see your place on this planet and humankind, on this planet, on, in the field of energy that we live in. Your ability to navigate that, that's it, spiritual intelligence. Here is another one. Power intelligence, your ability to use power. You know, you receive power in the form of money, in the form of authority, hierarchy, your position high in a, an organization. You know, how is it? How do you navigate leadership? Power intelligence, your ability to navigate power, to use power in effective ways. What do you think about all that? What are you good at that is not traditionally understood as intelligence? I want to know what's your experience and um, yeah, what's going on in your life around all that? I love you. I'll see you soon for another video.